You're right, guys. Hope you're all okay out there. Hey, I like this one. Apple pasties. Some people would call them turnovers, but they look like pasties, so pasties they are. Uh, the video's in two parts, the pastry and then the filling cooking. So we'll start off with a pastry, plain flour, iced water, frozen butter, and then some sugar and salt. And as always, all the ingredients are down below. And the second part of the recipe will be a bit later on. Here we go then, guys. I think the key to this uh, this pastry is cold. This is why the butter's been in the freezer at least an hour before we use it. You are not making this by hand. You need a food processor. So in with half of the flour, in with the frozen butter cubes. I could probably have split those up before I put them in, you know what I mean? <laughs> Solid! And in with the rest of the flour. And all we're doing now is giving it a good blitzing. Only for about a minute, on and off, on and off, pulsing. Just to get a crumbly texture. And you can put the sugar and salt in at the start. I like to do it halfway through because it gives me something to do. A bit more blending. I suppose it's chopping more than blending, really, isn't it? Just checking it's okay. There's no great big lumps of butter left. And in with the water. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, I did not put enough water in this. It was a little bit too dry. So next time round, I've upped it to, I think it's eight or nine tablespoons rather than the, uh, the six or seven I used. It's all down to your flour, really. I mean, I use double O flour. Perhaps uh, normal plain flour would have been better. So we're pulsing it again now, a little bit longer. We need to get that water mixed up. We need to get the flour hydrating. Scrape the sides down a few times. And you can see now that the, uh, the mix has gone like a golden yellow. Almost there then. One more blitz in. <clears throat> and we tip it out. <laughs> it goes everywhere. Don't forget to take the blade out, guys. It's a bit chewy. And it, even though it looks like uh, breadcrumbs, it comes together. It just needs a bit of a squeeze in. The warmth of your hand brings it together a bit better, you know. Just keep persevering. Keep forcing it. Keep pushing it. Don't overwork it, though. You want it to stay fairly cold. Get it into a round. Flatten it down a little bit. Get some cling film over it. And then back in the fridge as quick as you can. Uh, in the fridge, at least an hour, two hours, three hours, overnight if you can, but I did two hours. Okay then, so on with the filling. A uh, couple of large uh, Bramleys or Granny Smiths will do. I could have used one more probably. Uh, a bit of butter, salt, ground cinnamon, white sugar and brown sugar. Uh, water for deglazing the pan and egg and milk for a wash at the end. Okay then, so on with the filling and chopping the apples. Oh, speaking of chopping, my new chopping board. Expertly pyrographed or pyrographed, burnt, whatever it's called, by Jordan at Jordan's Woodlands Crafts. She did my allotment sign as well, if you remember, and my only Christmas tree decorations as well. She's got a stall at the um, Christmas market, the Barn Owl Pub in Kingsway, Gloucester. 
Next Saturday, 27th November, 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, pop in, say hello. Hey up, lad. There's more than one way to peel an apple. And this time I've just taken the top and bottom off and used the potato peeler going downwards. Nice and simple. Cut the apples in half, cut the apples in quarters. And core them. And the safest and easiest way to core an apple is to lay it on the chopping board and make a 45 degree cut, taking the centre of the apple away. Cut the quarters into three wedges and then cut the wedges into large chunks. And repeat until all your apples are done. A bit hard, just what we got there in the end. Right, pan on the heat, in with the butter, and we're going to melt the butter. We want it to start going brown till it almost starts singing. There we are, it's going a little bit brown now. And it, it's got that toasty smell coming off it. Foaming nicely. So, in with the apples. Coat the apples in the butter. In with the salt. And in with the two sugars. Again, give it a good stir and get it all mixed up. And what you do from now, guys, is up to you, really. If you want chunky pasties, then don't cook it too long. If you want soft, squidgy pasties, cook it for about five minutes. Doesn't take long at all. Mine was somewhere in between, actually. There we are. We need to cool the filling completely before we put it onto the pastry. Put it on hot and the butter will start melting and you'll have all... You won't have soggy bottoms, you'll have soggy insides. <laughs> so tip it into another container because the pan holds the heat and it will just take forever to cool down. And at this point you realise you forgot the cinnamon, so you put it in afterwards. It doesn't really matter, it's only a flavour. And once it's cool, we start building. We're going to put an egg wash on the pasties. Two purposes. Uh, give it a bit of colour and also help the sugar to stick. So all an egg wash is, is one egg, a couple of teaspoons of milk, and then really, really well beaten. That's set it to one side. So the fun begins. Dust your work surface with flour, get your chilled dough out of the fridge and cut it into quarters because we're going to make four pasties. Put three chunks to one side and work with the fourth. No point putting them back in the fridge. It takes about two minutes to make each one of these. Uh, start moulding it into a round, get it into a flat circle, more flour. Yeah, so you get it into a flat circle and start rolling it out. Don't forget to dust your rolling pin. And we're after about 200ml, that's that 8 inch circle-ish. These silicon mats are quite good, they really help it to stop sticking. If that was on the work counter, that would be sticking like mad. A um, couple of uh, couple of spoons of the apple mix, and then we fold the pastry over from the top down, but not all the way. We're stopping about there, pressing down firmly, and this is the first stage of three seals we're making. This is a good way of doing soggy fillings. Trim off the excess, and then fold the overlap upwards, pressing down again. So that's your second stage.
I like to tuck the ends of my pastas underneath. And the third stage is the crimp. So finger and thumb and push, finger and thumb and push, all the way round. And then we've got three seals. And if that leaks, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Onto the lined baking tray. You can use parchment paper or silicon again. And then on with the others. As you can see, I got better as I went on, a little bit quicker. <laughs> um, on with the egg wash. A liberal coating. Getting all the nooks and crannies of the crimp as well. Makes it nice and crispy. And a good sprinkle of granulated sugar. Maybe quarter and half a teaspoon each. And like I say, the egg wash helps this to stick, it stops it falling off when you move the tray around. Okay, we need to let the steam get out of these pasties, so three holes in each one. I just used a knife and twiddled it. And in the oven, 200 Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. Until they look something a bit like this. Just starting to turn brown. And in another couple of minutes they would have been a bit too brown for me. Um, off the tray onto a cooling rack. And let them cool down. Don't even think about trying to eat these like this. They are molten inside. They will take your tongue off in a second. And even cutting them now would just ruin the appearance. Wow. Let's put these to one side a minute. Oh, see that. Here we go then. It's cooled down a little bit because the these are hot, hot, hot when they come out of the oven. Sounds good, looks good. Good. Uh, we're going to taste test, I suppose. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. I'll tell you what, that pastry is lush. Mm. Buttery pastry. Mm. Apple leaf filling. <laughs> what more can you ask for? Mm. A little bit more, save the rest for later. In fact, my daughter's coming around in a minute. And then I better give her a couple. Mm -hmm. And I'll give one to my neighbours next door. After that lovely meal they gave me last night. Tell you what, guys, that is very, very nice. Mm, 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 mm. A bit warm. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Cool, very seasonal apples. That'll do. Mm, mm, mm.